Who's got the first question? Right here. Uh, Henry, it's three years later, um, on the cusp of your first weight cut in years. Tell us how you're feeling physically right now as you go into tomorrow morning. Uh, first of all, I feel good, but I want to give thanks to, uh, to Dana for Hunter. You know, they gave me this opportunity. I know it's been three years. I never lost a belt. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the way I see it, I am the champ. He's the challenger. And uh, you, guys, you, guys hired the, you guys hired the right hit, man. And I'm here to do my job. Weight is good. I feel good. I'm doing my weight cut in the morning, super light. I'm excited to put this clown six feet under. We usually see you, Henry, at these press conferences. You have props and all sorts of different things. Are you kind of abandoning that, going into this fight, taking a more serious approach? The press conference ain't over. But I do want to say this, because I do want to dedicate this fight after I beat Al Jalain. I want to dedicate it to a very special homeless lesbian by the name of Sean O'Malley. Because he's next. Aljo, for you, um, Henry said this week that he considers this to be a personal fight for him. Is it the same for you? Not at all. I mean, the guy came back after a three-year layoff. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I thought the guy was joking around. It's, it's glad to, I'm glad to see that he's serious about this, and I can't wait to smash another legend, uh, another, another former champion, you know. So he's got some good accolades. And I can't wait to take that away from him because he said this is going to be an easy fight. So what's going to happen when he loses and I make him bend the motherfucking knee? And you said yesterday that you think you're going to send him back into retirement here. Uh, do you think if you win, he will actually be done? If who would be done? If Henry would be done if you win. He's not winning. No, I'm saying if you win. Do you know, think can I say something else? Uh, if, 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 uh, when I win, I'm going to retire his ass again. I'm, I'm going to retire him, and I'm going to send his ass to a, the sport he should have been in, which it should have been a horse jockey with that big-ass head. Listen, guys, a lot of people think I'm taking Algerman lightly. That's what you said. A lot of people That's think what I'm you taking said. Like, wait, 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 do you want to hear I, what I, I got to say? I, I, a lot of people think I'm taking Algerman lightly. But how can I take lightly... Somebody that walks around with the Academy Award like Aljamain Sterling. Yeah, and speaking of title stakes, though, both Bilal and Gilbert have said that to take this fight, they were promised their next fight will be for the 100%. title. 100%. Um, do you have an idea when Ooh. you could get Colby and Leon? Because they could be sitting out for a while if they're waiting for that fight. Yeah, they won't be out long. They won't be out long. And yes, the, the, the guy who wins this fight will get the next shot. This question for Gilbert. Gilbert. You are obviously one of the best jiu-jitsu fighters in the UFC, but Bilal is a phenomenal wrestler. When it comes down to grappling, who's the better out of the two of you? What's well, up, New Orleans? Love that energy. First of all, I love to be here. Thank you guys for coming. Super excited. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be a war. So, uh, I will. <laughs> uh, I think I'm a better grappler, but the guy's a good wrestler. You know, we, we kind of had one session we, we wrestled at the gym. He freaking head but me. Uh, but, yeah, I think he's, he's good everywhere. You know, he's tough. He know how to win. I think it's going to be a war. You know, he, he, guy's hungry, too. Gotta, a lot of guys don't put respect on this guy. This guy deserves a lot of respect. You know, he's, he's that tough. It's going to be a war. But now he just mentioned you two wrestled before. Who got the better of that exchange that time? Well, I headbutted him and he got cut. So I, I drew first blood. So right there. Okay, okay. For for all the fans out there booing, now I know why the Nets left New Jersey and they're in Brooklyn because you guys suck. Like the fans are terrible. But now, obviously, Dana has just promised that the winner of this will fight for the title next. But do you want to make a statement? Do you want to get a finish over Gilbert on Saturday? Yeah, obviously, every single fight you go into, you want to end it early. You want to make an exciting finish. And uh, man, I love that energy. Keep that energy Saturday night. Keep that energy Saturday night. I'm going to smash your boy. I'm going to smash your boy. Uh, this will be your third pay-per-view of 2023. You're just coming off of a win over the former BMF champion, Jorge Masvidal. Do you feel like now you carry that title as the BMF in the UFC right now? What do you think, Dana? Oh, I think Dana. Uh, you could say that after the Hamza Chamaya fight. You could say that after the fight that he had in Miami. Yeah. He's a BMF. No doubt. New BMF, guys. Henry, one for you. Yesterday, it was revealed that you have a blacklist of names you want to, you know, 
take out in the octagon, starting with Aljamain. Who else is on this list? First of all, I'm going to stop this dude under three, and I promise you that. And then after that, I'm going after Sean O'Malley, and then I'm going after Alexander Volkanovsky. And I want Volkanovsky in Australia. I'm coming back to make history, and he happens to be in my 2 no fight. I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to get rid of O'Malley. That's right, I said it. And then Volkanovsky's next, and you can't deny me no more. So, a Let's go, let's go, baby. We on the East Coast now. We on the East Coast now. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Mr. Everlord, how's everything for you with the last minute opponent change and for you just getting that last minute opportunity done? Uh, you know, I was sad because uh, Bryce finally escaped his fight, but Injuries is part of our game, and I'm very grateful that the UFC saved this fight. You know, um, I'm here, I want to fight, and I need, I need more fights, and uh, I spent a lot of time with my injury last year before COVID. I need more fights to get finally this title, inshallah. And, and after this fight, maybe they organize Again, this fight with Bryce or someone else, you know, I need good names. Maybe, maybe Zombie will fight, you know, nothing only respect, but I need good names. Hey, can I say something real quick? Because this man's got to make weight first. Say something. You have to make weight first. And if you can't make weight, but Rob, you're next. Get ready, Brooks. I'm coming for you because I'm coming for you. If this man doesn't make weight, make sure he has his, his, his butt buddy at broke back Longo, because you're next. Hey, one more. At least I don't quit, Henry. At least I don't quit. I always make weight. I always show up. I'm and here to you're collect. dead. I'm going to collect. You're dead. Take that, that gold chain off. I'm going to rush your neck. Out. Wait. Your gold chain. How do you, how do you like, function? Uh, 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 uh. That gold chain. That too. big ass. Get that, that dome piece, Get bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. Make that weight. I will. Hey, be ready. Well, be man. ready. Because I know he's struggling to make weight. Be ready. Be Wait, ready. You see me struggle, Henry? You Be ready. Struggle. It's too struggle to make weight. I'm going to hurt you, bro. You want me to miss weight. And everything that I said and done, I'm going to take three. Hey, one more question for both of you guys. Is Give her off the mic. Oh, no. Give her off the mic. <laughs> okay. No, it's OK. It's OK. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about well, him. And you, He's whoop and, ass you ass. and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. In top control. 100% defense. 100% defense. Demetrius Johnson got to my legs. The, some of the best fighters in the world has got to my legs. Nobody has taken me down. And this dude with 26 losses as a Division Three wrestler, he's going to bend the knee. He's going to bend the knee. You guys just watch. Yeah. I have one last one for Aljamain. When you're going against a striker who's good at managing his distance, how do you uh, keep him out of rhythm? Easy. My feints, my awkwardness, my length. It's gonna be, it's gonna be child's play. I guarantee. And I don't want to undermine his skills because he's very talented. But I just think there's going to be a unique difference with what I bring to the table versus what he's seen in that octagon. Guaranteed. I told you guys this multiple times. Put the house up. Guaranteed, baby. I'm telling first, you. First of I'm all, telling we all you. know you have bad credit, man. So don't be putting anything up. Second, what I will say is this is easy money. I don't, I don't know if you guys get this or see this. I mean, this dude is... Telegraphs everything that he look does. At me, look at me. How you look gonna, at me. How you look at me. You don't believe what you're saying. You don't believe wrestling. what you're saying. Look at me. Guys, I'm gonna get my eyes. I'm done. I'm the captain now. Look into my eyes. Even even look guys who we have stopped before said triple season to win. Look into my eyes. Shut up. You don't believe what you're Shut saying. Shut up. You don't believe what you're Bend saying. Bend the knee. Bend the knee to King Triple C right now. You don't believe you're what you're saying. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. I promise you that. That's why you break eye contact because you know. Shut up. You know exactly what I'm gonna do to you. I'm your daddy. Hey, Jersey, we love you. It's good to be back here. 